My name is Diane O'Hara. I am a member of the Delaware Farm Bureau, Sussex County, and I became involved because I have a large garden that has lots of tomatoes, cucumbers, peppers, green beans, lima beans, and squash and zucchini. I also have a flock of chickens that I collect eggs every day from. Today I'm going to read you the book, How Did That Get In My Lunchbox by Chris Butterworth. One of the best parts of the day is when you lift the lid of your lunchbox open to see what's inside. Your parents have packed it with lots of tasty things to eat. They probably got all the food from the grocery store. But food does not grow in a grocery store. So where did it come for, from before it was in the store? Just how did all this food get in your lunchbox? How did bread in your sandwich get in your lunchbox? A farmer planted seeds in the spring and by summer they grow into tall wavy wheat with fat ripe grains at the tip of every stalk. The farmer cut the wheat with a giant combine harvester and sent it to a flour mill. The miller ground the grains into flour and the trucks took the flour to the bakery. The baker mixed the flour with water, sugar, and yeast, kneaded it into soft, squishy dough, and baked it in a very hot oven. Out came fresh loaves of bread, ready to send to the store. Take a bite of the bread in your sandwich. Mmm, crusty on the outside and soft in the middle. cheese in your sandwich get in your lunchbox. Your cheese was once milk that came from a cow. A farmer milked the cows and a tanker from the dairy came to collect the milk. First step, in the dairy the cheesemakers warm up the milk. Step two, they added bacteria to make it turn sour and thick. Step three, then they added a substance that animals use to digest milk called rennet. Step four, and it changed again into bits called curds floating in whey. Step five, they drained off the whey, chopped up the rubbery curds and added some salt and pressed them into blocks. Then they stored the blocks for months until the cheese was ripe. Bite into your cheese, it's creamy and smooth, but tasty too and tingly on your tongue. did your tomatoes get in your lunchbox? Last summer, your tomatoes were growing in big plastic tunnel full of tomato plants. The sun and the warmth made the plants grow tall and bloom with yellow flowers. As each flower died, a tiny green tomato fruit began to grow from its middle. Day by day, the plant sucked up water and the tomatoes swelled from green to orange to red. And when bunches of ripe scarlet tomatoes dangled from the branches, the growers picked them. They sorted them, they packed them, and sent them to the store. Pop one into your mouth and squish the sweet, sour juice right out. How did your apple juice get in your lunchbox? Well, last spring, the apple trees in the orchards were full of flowers. And in the summer, tiny apple buds grew from each flower stalk. The buds kept on growing and growing, and by autumn, the trees were full of ripe, sweet fruit. The pickers climbed into the trees and filled their baskets with fruit. A truck took the bins to the juice factory, where the sorters threw out any rotten apples. Then the machine washed the rest and mashed them into a milling machine. Skin, seeds, and all and a huge press squished and mashed all those apples until the juice ran out. Then the heater warmed up the juice to kill off the germs. And then it poured it into cartons. Suck hard on that straw, 
to taste that apple tang. Mm. Mm. How did your carrot get in your lunchbox? Well, last spring, the carrots were growing in a field on a vegetable farm. You would have seen any carrots, just long rows of feathery leaves. As the leaves grow taller in the summer sun, each carrot root pushes deeper and deeper into the earth, soaking up water and turning orange. By late summer, they had swelled so much that the top of each carrot pokes out of the earth. Pickers pull them all up, then the carrots are washed and packed into trucks. Bite into your carrot. See how sweet and crunchy they it tastes? Mm. Mm. How did this chocolate chip in your cookie get into your lunchbox? Cookies are made from flour, sugar, butter, and this one has chocolate chips in it. Chocolate starts off as a bean. Well, lots of beans, which grows in pods on a cocoa tree. The pods are picked from the tree and they're cut open and the beans are scooped out. The beans are spread out and left to dry in the sun. The dried beans are taken to a factory, sometimes on the other side of the world. And in the factory, they're cleaned, roasted, and ground into a thick, sticky paste. Sugar is mixed in so the paste gets sweeter, but it's still gritty. So it's squeezed and stirred and melted and cooled to make it really smooth. It takes a lot of work to make chocolate. Finally, the chocolate is molded into bricks. They are made into little chips that will melt in your mouth all over again. Mm. How did your clementine get in your lunchbox? Well, early in the summer, the trees in the clementine grove were full of sweet smelling waxy flowers. And as the flowers died, a tiny green clementine berry began to grow out of each one. The clementine swelled in the warm sun, turning the green to yellow. And by the time cooler winter weather arrived, by the time cooler winter weather arrived, the clementines had turned orange and were so heavy, full of juice, that made the branches droop. Pickers climbed up the ladders to reach them. They had to wear gloves so they didn't bruise the tender fruit inside the skin. They washed them pack them and the growers sent those boxes in trucks to the market. It's easy to peel a clementine. Then all you have to do is pop the juicy pieces in your mouth and bite. Most clementines are seedless. You've eaten it all from the first bite of bread to the last piece of fruit. It came from fields and farms from orchards, from groves, from dairies. So many people helped bring it to you. Farmers and bakers, cheese and chocolate makers, pickers, packers, and truck drivers. And now it's all in your stomach, starting to do the job that your food does, helping you grow taller and stronger, and giving you the get up and get it. You need more than lunch to make you grow and keep you healthy. Every day you need to choose food that from each of the sections on this plate. Most of your food should come from the fruits and vegetables and carbohydrate sections. Carbohydrates, bread, rolls, pasta, these foods fill you up fast and give you the energy to keep you going. Fruits and vegetables like apples, cauliflower, your body needs lots of these to keep you healthy. Protein, like eggs, meat, as such as ham. These are bodybuilders to help you grow those extra inches. Dairy, like milk or butter. These are your bone builders. They also help keep your teeth grow strong. And then there's stuff that you eat for a treat. Just a little of these is enough. 